be able to come in and worship Him, to call upon His name, to give God praise, to honor Him. He thrills us. Amen. 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 <laughs> God, you thrill me. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to remind everybody of our Bible study. Thursday nights at 6.30. If you have an opportunity, I pray that you can make it. Uh, Acts 22. We'll be looking at Acts 22. Um, then also, don't forget about your, uh, the two-week Bible studies, uh, Bible readings. Um, we're still talking about the fact that we're never alone. Amen? Amen. I think it's applicable for uh, an applicable message for this time because we need to know that we're never alone. Amen? Amen. Also, don't forget about our... Uh, our prayer calendar. Um, this is the last week of that, and then we'll, we'll have a new one for uh, starting next Sunday. But amen. Praise God. Amen. Let's look to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we worship you and we thank you and we praise you for how good you are, dear Heavenly Father, to us, dear God. Father, I pray that as I speak to your people, dear Heavenly Father, that you will speak through me, dear God, that you will lead me, that you will guide me, that you would. Give me direction, dear Heavenly Father. I pray, dear God, that you would give us all insight into your word, dear Heavenly Father, so that the word can penetrate our hearts, dear Heavenly Father, deeply within us, dear Heavenly Father, so that we can uh, leave this place better, dear Heavenly Father, not bitter. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Everybody say amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. Are you excited about the word? Amen. So I'm excited. I, I really am excited about the work that the Lord. Uh, it was it was a struggle. Really can tell you it was it was a struggle. I, I was a uh, funny thing is I I had I had the the thought for the message in my mind uh, and earlier this week and then it just got it just was a hectic crazy <coughs> week you know uh, and so as I was sitting yesterday I was like okay Lord you, you you tell tell me what you tell me how you want me to put this together Amen. And, and, you know, the Lord, He was faithful like He always is. And so, so give Him praise. Amen. During this past week, the news has been dominated with information and recommendations related to COVID-19 and the coronavirus. Every channel that we look at, um, news article that you read, radio stations, they, they, they're affecting my, my sports stations. <laughs> You know, I'm not bitter, but you know, <laughs> I'd rather be talking about the NBA Finals and playoffs and all that stuff. But uh, it's affecting it's affecting everything. Everywhere we look, everywhere we turn, um, there's something about uh, this virus. Our lives have have been altered tremendously. Would you agree? Everything has been altered. I think that this is a situation similar to 9/11, where where we would look back once we're all through this, that there are going to be some things that that change because of this, just how, how we do things. And, and um, when I was going through uh, perusing my favorite um, app to get headlines, I ran across this headline. This is what the headline read. This is serious. This is serious. And uh, of course it was referred to the coronavirus. This is serious. But as I thought about the headline, this is serious. This is when the thought kind of came to me. I feel like the Holy Spirit told me that this is serious. Mm -hmm. This is serious. Yeah. But then he flipped it. Absolutely flipped it. And, 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 and I, got, I got excited about it because I heard this is serious. And, and I knew that it was, it, was, it was from deep within my spirit. I knew it was Holy Spirit talking to me. So it's like, okay, so what, what does that mean? Do, do we need to... What do we need to do? Do we need to shut the church down? What, what do we need to do? And I started thinking about our Heavenly Father. I started to think about Him in the midst of all this uncertainty. And so today what I want to do is I want to encourage, encourage you in a message entitled, God is Serious. All right, all right, all right. God yeah. is Serious. Yeah. This is serious. Right? Everything that's going on, see what I did there? God is serious. This, this is serious. We need to pay, we need to pay for God. That was a total bad joke, that bomb. But anyway, God is serious. God is serious. So, as I was coming up in the church I grew up in, when we heard the preacher say, God is serious, 
as a young as a young boy, as a young younger person, what followed was always a list of things that we should not do. God is serious. There's a, there's a list. It was and then it was followed by a list of commands and and and, and principles and things that you you should not do. And and quite honestly, rightly so, right? Because God is serious. We're, we're going to look at the fact that God is serious about His Word, and there are some things that we should should not do. But 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 He's serious. Uh, God is. Uh, he his, his, his. We should take the Word of God seriously because God takes His Word seriously. That's right. So we have been looking at, over the last several messages. You know, we have been looking at the the, the fact that we need to repent. Mm -hmm. Right. God is serious. He takes his word seriously. Mm -hmm. We need to repent. And so we were looking at some of those verses, some of those command kind of verses. And we looked at a few. Let me, let me just kind of go over some of that we did in the last several weeks. Um, Jeremiah 4.3. Uh, Plow up the hard grounds of your hearts. Do not waste your good seed among thorns. Amen. God is serious. We need to plow up the, the, the hard grounds of our hearts. Then we also looked at uh, the next verse in, in Jeremiah. It says, ch the latter part of the verse says, Change your hearts before the Lord, or my anger will burn like an un unquenchable fire because of all your sins. Right. God is serious. Mm -hmm. We need to, we need to uh, change our hearts. We need to do better. We need to, to, to do the things that God has called for us to do. And then we kept it going, um, and we, we ran across a verse that said, Approved by the way you live that you have repented of your sins and turned to God. God is serious about His Word. And His Word says that we should repent, and there should be evidence, and we should be able to prove that we repented by how we live. God is serious. And the last one uh, that we have been talking about over the last several weeks, and this is just this is just a, a snapshot of those 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 command kind of kind of verses that I was kind of scared of as a kid because it's like I don't want to read that stuff because that's just gonna make my fun go away. <laughs> but it's the uh, Ephesians uh, four twenty six and twenty seven says, and do and don't sin by letting anger control you. Don't let the sun go down while you are still angry, for anger gives a foothold to the devil. What if we took that verse seriously? And we don't let anger control us. And we understand that anger gives the devil, he has a hold on you. It's almost like you, 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 you're, you're wanting to, to, to walk and, and, and go and do things, but there's a, there's a snare that's, a, that's attached to your foot. And you can't move and you can't do the things and you can't go where God t is telling you to go because you, you because of the anger that you didn't get in check. It controls you. It has a foothold on you so you can't do the things and you can't move and, and say and, and do what God has called for you to do. God is serious about His Word. He's serious about His Word. You know what? Jesus is also serious about the Word. Jesus was serious when he said, I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. Jesus is serious when he said that. He's serious when he said, in this world, you will have troubles and trials. He's serious when he says, but be of good cheer because I have overcome the world. Let's get some more witnesses. Paul was serious when he said, yet what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory he will reveal to us later. Paul was serious about that. Paul had a lot of things that he had to deal with. We talked a little bit about Paul and, and, and we were looking at Paul's life in, 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 in Bible study. Paul had some things that he had to deal with. Did we come across that one uh, story yet where he was bit by the viper? That's coming? Yeah, coming. That's coming. He, he was he was bit by, by a viper. That's like an anaconda to me. <laughs> Just saying. James was serious when he said, Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. The traditional version says, Count it all joy. Right? He was serious when he said that. 
Because the word of God is serious. God takes his word serious, and so we should take the word serious. And one more, Peter was serious when he says, So be truly glad. There is joy ahead. There is wonderful joy ahead, even though you must endure many trials for a little while. I mean, that's so applicable for right now. Because we're going through this thing, and we're dealing with this, and, and, and we can take comfort in the fact that the Bible says that sometimes we're going, we're going to go through but it's just for a little while. I don't know how long. With this per current issue that we're dealing with, quite honestly, nobody knows how long. But it's just for a little while. But God is serious about his word. He's serious about his word. So, so that's how come we spent some time talking about the fact that we have to repent. And to put put those sinful and ungodly things to death. Because don't forget about those the, the, the get rid of and the put to death scripture that we talked about. God is serious. We need to put these things, sin in our life, we need to put it to death. We need to get rid of it. But that's not what encouraged me. That's not what encouraged me. What encouraged me. And what encourages me as I walk with the Lord, especially during this time, is knowing what God says in His Word about how He feels about you and me. Amen. All right. yes. So God is serious, right? Yes. He's serious about His Word. But I got encouragement when I thought about our Heavenly Father. And, and how serious he is with his word. But there's, there are other verses in the Bible that we're going to look at. One in particular that, that, that he looks at us. And, and, and it, it gives us a picture of how he feels about you and me. Mm -hmm. Understanding that he's serious. Let's look at this verse. Notice what David says in Psalms 8 verses 3 through 5. When I look at the night sky and see the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you set in place, what are mere mortals that you should think about them, human beings that you should care for them? All right, all right. Yet you make them only a little lower than God and crown them. You make them a little here, yeah, a little lower than God and crown them with glory and honor. Yes. From the New Living Translation. From the New Living Translation. But, but look at what it says. It says, what are mere um, uh, morals that you should think about them? Human beings that you should care for them. Yes. God is serious about his word. Yes. And his word says that he cares for us. Yes. Yes. His word said that he cares for us. That, 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 that he, he has crowned us with, with uh, uh, glory and honor. Now, when we're praying, one of the things that we ascribe to God is glory and honor. Yes. Lord, we give you glory. And we give you honor. And we praise your name. Right? But the Bible says that he crowns us with glory and honor. That's how much he cares for you. The same attributes that, 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 that he ascribes to himself he sees us through the righteous lens of Jesus Christ. He sees us as, as, as right, in right standing before him, crowned with glory and honor. And God is serious about his word. So if he's serious about his word, and that's the way he views you, the fact that he, will, he, he cares about you, why should you fear? Why should you fear? Why should you be afraid? This is what the Holy Spirit was telling me. It's what the Lord put on my, my heart. It, it, it was just like, okay, yes, yes, this is serious. But God is serious. God is serious. How serious is God, you ask? 
This is verse that says, how serious is, uh, how serious is God in, in, in how he cares for us? There's a verse that says, even the very hairs on your head are all numbered. That's some serious care. Yeah. Uh -oh. yeah, I'm going to try not to, to go there. Because it's like another Captain Obvious. It's like, so. But he, he knows the... He knows the hairs that I shaved off that are in the trash. He knows those hairs are, are, are numbered. So when I cut off 7,263, he knew that hair. Specifically, he's serious about his word. He's serious about his word. So that's how come I, I, I want to encourage you. I need to encourage you because... God was serious when he said he formed us and knows everything about us. God was serious when he said his love is unconditional and his mercy endures forever. He was serious when he said that nothing can separate us from the love of God. He was serious when he said to cast all your worries and cares on him because he cares for us. He was serious when he said no harm will overtake you, uh, neither disaster will come to your tent. He was serious when he said that I will never leave you nor forsake you. He was serious when he said I am the Lord who heals you. This is serious, but God is serious. He was serious when he said that God is our refuge and our shield. He was serious when he said there, are no, there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. He was serious when he said, when the world said, I was young, but now I am old, but I never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed beg for bread. God was serious when he said that. He was serious when he said that he is faithful and will not allow us to be tempted beyond what we can bear. He was serious when he said that he is able to keep us from falling. He is serious when he said, he was serious when he said that he is a very present help in the time of trouble. He is serious when he said that he will supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. He was serious when he said, I know the plans that I have for you, plans to prosper you and to not harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. God was serious when he said that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. This thing that we're dealing with is serious, but God is serious. God is serious. He was serious when he said that all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. He was serious when he said that. He was serious. We're dealing with this thing, and it's serious, but so is the God that we serve. I'm here to remind you that he is seriously all-powerful. I'm here to remind you that, 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 that he can keep us safe and deliver us. That's, he's all powerful. Yes. He's seriously all knowing. Mm -hmm. This didn't catch God by surprise. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show y'all something that really got me excited in a minute. But this didn't catch, this didn't catch God by surprise. He's seriously all, all knowing. He's serious about his word. For man shall not live by the stockpile of tissue alone. <laughs> But every word that comes from the mouth of God. The, the real version of that is, is I think the next slide, so you can see what it really says. I think I have it on there. No, I, I don't have I, I didn't put it up. It says, Man shall not live by bread alone. In other words, all of these essentials, these things that we're, we're kind of stockpiling and, and hoarding and, and, and all of this, look, we, we, you can have all of that. But if God says your time is up, we're going to get some toilet paper. Yeah. 
You gonna get your sanitizer. He was serious when he, when he said all of these things. He was serious when he says that my word, he's serious about his word, right? My word will not return to me empty, will not return to me void, but will accomplish the thing that I sent it to do. And that's right. He was serious. He was serious when he said that. God is serious about his people. The thing that got me really excited, so we're going we're gonna to go back for a second. At the beginning of the year, actually it started at the end of the year, uh, we started to preach a, some messages, how do you see it? How do you see it? And we were talking about how do you see God? 